What's up, YouTube? So I just found out that there's a NES Metroid HD patch. And I am stoked to try it. So I'm going to show you guys how to install and play it. Up next. Alright guys, so here it is, Metroid High Definition. So let's give it a little gameplay. And here is the game save edition that we did not have in the original. So let's start from the beginning. And as you can hear, the sound is way better. It's got a lot more depth. Even the sound from the blaster sounds sweet. Yeah, that sounds nice. Look at the graphics, guys. This looks so neat. Much better. I wish we had this when we were kids. <laughs> These graphics would have blew our mind back in the day, huh? Wow, yeah, this is so much nicer than the original, but it still keeps true to the original. The gameplay is the same. Oh, this is nice. gonna be great I'm gonna love this getting a mo you know mother brain with great graphics that's gonna be sweet <laughs> all right guys so there you have it Metroid HD I can't wait to fight mother brain she's probably gonna look amazing the graphics are great the sound is great so and it has saved too that's a sweet feature so let's head on over to the desktop all right, now that you've seen the gameplay, if you're still interested, I'll show you guys how to install it. So first, we're going to have to download some stuff. It's not just the game. You have to install an emulator and an HD pack, and there's a couple, couple steps to it. So first, we're going to need to download the HD pack. So right here, I will leave all this stuff, uh, all these links in the description below. But first, we need to get the HD pack. And download anyway. So here we go. Alright. So that's done. Let's jump over. Because we also need... An emulator. It's called Messin. So, or however you pronounce this, Messin 2. But scroll down and click here where it says Windows. And it's done. Alright, we're getting somewhere. And now, this game is just a mod on top of the original. Metroid for NES, so you have to have the original NES game. If you own the original game, you can go to Internet Archive and get the ROM. Just go to uh, archive.org, type in NES ROM set, go, and I mean, it'll, it'll get you pointed in the right direction. And this is what you need, Metroid USA. And that's done. All right. So it's probably gonna be in your downloads. 
let's just bring this stuff on over here's our HD here's our messing here's the Metroid and that's what we need all right so we'll make create a folder we'll name it Metroid HD all right let's unzip our files into the Metroid HD file first let's do the HD extract files to Metroid HD and the same thing with Messen extract that over to Metroid HD and we're going to want the game in there too so there we go can delete these because we don't need them all right so we got messing which is an emulator we got the original ROM for Metroid and here is the HD patch this is what we're looking for right here Metroid HD and it has a readme if you get too confused but pretty simple double click messing all right we got to set it up a little bit all right so first we're going to want to go to settings then we're going to want to go to video and if you hit NES and go to general right here make sure enable HD packs is uh, checked it should be but just to make sure and input we should probably set up a controller so I'm gonna go ahead and pair up my controller let's see add a Bluetooth device All right, I got a Xbox One controller. I'm putting in a pair mode right now. There it is. And done. All right, controller's working. So we can, uh, you can let it set itself up, automatically configure controller when loading a game. Um, or you can set it up yourself. I think I'm just going to let it be. There's one more thing. Hmm. Under It should be under video. Yeah. Make sure this is ticked. Enable vertical sync. And then hit OK. Um, when you first start uh, the emulator up, it might ask you to install Runtime 6 or something like that. I had to do it, so go ahead and install that it's just the next next finish type situation you don't even have to restart okay so next we have to you can literally just drop this on there see I've already installed the patch just just go to tools and then go down to HD packs click install HD pack and then just direct it to this folder so we hit it on our desktop Metroid HD inside of open me and here it is Metroid HD you would click that and hit open I've already done it so there's no need for me to do it again so there you have it Metroid high definition this is gonna be so cool uh, we need full screen so an easy way to do that is to hit F11 and there it is and as you see we got save too. Uh, the original didn't have save so that's awesome <laughs> that's a really cool feature this is one of my faves like I love this game the original NES Metroid the Super Metroid, I love that one too. So this is going to make it a lot funner. It's just, it looks so smooth. I can't wait to fight Mother Brain. This is going to be great. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. I hope you learned something. And as always, have a tech day.